Hi, and welcome. I enjoy starting avocado plants from the seeds. Here, I have several plants in the greenhouse. I do not have the space to start plants from every seed that passes through the kitchen. So, I usually add the extra seeds to the compost. Some germinate while others break down and add to the compost. A study released in 2090s has found that avocado seed extract could help reduce inflammation. The research is a promising development for future treatment of cancer, arteritis, colitis, cardiovascular disease, and more. It also offers hope for reducing food waste. Studies on avocado seeds suggest that they may reduce your heart disease risk and fight off bacteria and fungi. Nevertheless, it is recommended by some that further research in humans is needed before any conclusions can be made. Now, today, I will be using the flesh to make an avocado dip. In this video, I will be making avocado seed powder. I will also be discussing ways to use the avocado powder. So in the first process is to remove that outer layer of the seed and once that is done then the next step would be to um, wash the seed thoroughly. Now if this is taking some to uh, a little bit to take off. These seeds, uh, these the avocados used here are from a Florida backyard so it's homegrown and organically grown so once the seed is washed then I diced the seed into small pieces and I will say thank you to uh, the viewer that suggested the parchment paper that's a lifesaver the small pieces will no longer fall through the dehydrator rack before this I was cutting larger pieces that will work with the the rack but now i can cut into the smaller pieces which will make the dehydration process more efficient so as i continue um, to dice them into smaller pieces as small as i could get them to be um, the smaller the pieces the better it is that will also be um, better for the uh, the coffee grinder also Okay, it will make the process seamless. So we are cutting the parchment paper to fit with the um, dehydrator. And once this step is completed, the next step is we replace the small cut pieces on the dehydrator rocks for dehydration now it looks like we'll perhaps only need one rack in this case because the, it's where we had two seeds so that will be good for now but we we, are, we went ahead and 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 cut out some additional um, parchment paper for the other rack so that will be ready when we dehydrate other items so here it's um, getting dehydrated. Uh, we wait three to four hours. And here it's all done. So it took approximately three hours. The um, entire process took in approximately three hours. So the next step is to make the powder. So I'll be making the powder in the coffee grinder on the fine setting and then we'll be adding to a bottle i'll be storing it in the refrigerator that will help to reduce um, the clumping so what can i use do with the powder it is said i could add a teaspoon or you could add a teaspoon or so to your smoothies or food 
Some medical uses are for sore tooth, stomach ache. It could be used as a hair conditioner and a face scrub. For stomach ache, add a tea tablespoon of the powder and make a tea with it. The avocado powder scrubs, you can make an avocado powder scrub. Um, also for here, you can also add it to a coconut base conditioner for your hair. So add about four tablespoons of the powder. The use of the avocado powder goes on and on. So here it's ground in real nicely. It's really to the texture, the desired texture. And this is the last batch that I'll be using for the dehydration. I ate a few slices of the avocado with bread. With the remainder, I added juice from one lemon, two teaspoons of garlic powder, and I added one teaspoon of Himalayan salt. Ideally, you could add some lime or lemon juice from an entire lime or lemon, some salt, diced onion, chopped fresh cilantro, and minced garlic. You could also add tomatoes. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe to the Petersville Farm channel. Thank you.